Hello friends, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to talk about correlation versus causation. This is a very common concept that is asked in data science interviews. So let's look at what is correlation versus causation. Correlation is a statistical technique that helps us to know the relationship between two variables. Correlation can be positive, that is when one variable increases, the second one also increases. Or correlation can be negative, that is when one variable increases, the second one decreases. Correlation is generally a numeric continuous value that is between minus 1 to 1. As we can see on the figure on the right side, it's a scatter plot that shows the relationship between weight and height. As height increases, weight also increases. Although there are some outliers, but in general, there is a linear positive correlation between height and weight. When the value of correlation is close to either positive one or negative one, it shows a very strong positive or negative relationship between two variables. Whereas if the value is close to zero, that means a very weak correlation between two variables. Correlation can be calculated by various methods. The most well-known one is Pearson's correlation. And there are others like Spearman's and Kendall's also. In future videos, I will show you what is the formula for correlation for these different measures and when are each of them applicable. On this slide, there are three diagrams and each of them show a type of correlation. The first one is a positive correlation. On this scatter plot, we see the relationship between temperature and ice cream sales. When temperature increases, ice cream sales also increases. And this generally happens during summer. In the next plot, we, saw, we see a negative correlation. It's a relationship between temperature and the sales of sweaters. During winter, when temperature is lower, sales of sweaters and other winter wear goes up, while when temperature increases, the sales of such clothing goes down. This is an example of a negative correlation. And the third one is a scatter plot where we are showing the relationship between temperature and cell phone sales. Now temperature does not impact how many cell phones are sold. The reason why someone buys a cell phone is not because it, it is either hot or cold weather. It's because either they broke their cell phone or they lost it or they just want to buy the new version of it, isn't it? So there is no relationship between temperature and cell phone sales and whenever we see a scatter plot where uh, the points are scattered without any pattern in them that shows that there is no relationship between the two variables now on this slide i am trying to show you how we can know from the pattern whether two variables are strongly correlated or weakly correlated. If the dots in the scatter plot are really close to each other and form a really clear pattern, then they're strongly correlated. Whereas if the dots are scattered a little bit more farther away from each other and there is a variance, more variance in that pattern, then even though there may be a relationship, a correlation, but it's a weak correlation like the one between variable 3 and variable 4. So just by looking at the pattern of the scatter plot, we can tell whether 
two variables are not only correlated but whether they are positively or negatively correlated and whether that correlation is strong or weak and we can even determine if there is any correlation at all. A scatter plot is a very good way to determine correlation and relationship between two variables. So let's look at what is causation then. When one event causes the creation of another event, such a relationship is called causation. This is also known as a cause and effect relationship. For example, precipitation causes low temperatures. So whenever we have rainfall or snowfall, the temperature of the environment goes down. In the same way, harmful automobile emissions cause air pollution. So in both these examples, there is a cause and effect relationship. Causation is often confused with correlation. However, correlation by itself does not imply causation. There may be a third factor, for example, that is responsible for the fluctuations in both variables. Let's look at an example. Lately, Rina's parents are worried that she is always in bad mood and tired. They try to cheer her up, but nothing seems to work. What is going on here? Are Rina's bad mood and tiredness correlated because it seems whenever she is in a bad mood even her tiredness increases or if she is so tired then that results in her bad mood. Is it that they are related? Is that what is going on here? Well, maybe. But what is causing it? So it seems that Rina, on her way back from work every day, is facing a lot of traffic and that is causing her bad mood and tiredness. So even though her parents first thought that maybe her bad mood is causing tiredness or tiredness is causing bad mood, but actually the two of them are being caused by a third variable which is traffic jam and although bad mood and tiredness are correlated in this example but they are not causing each other they are being caused by something else and this gives us an important lesson that whenever we are evaluating the relationship between two variables we sometimes have to think out of the box and we sometimes have to find out is there any other outside variable that is impacting the way that these two or three or more variables are behaving. So how does this help us to take better business decisions? Moss founder Rand Fishkin explains causation as correlation can help you predict what will happen but finding the cause of something means you can change it. Once you know the cause of an event in your business, you can control it to manage outcome. If for example, I know what is causing customer dissatisfaction, I can take steps to prevent it, isn't it? True causation cannot be determined only through common sense. You know, you cannot just decide a cause and effect relationship based on your intuition. Controlled experiments are required to detect causation between two entities or events. While causation and correlation can exist at the same time, correlation does not mean causation. So this is the important lesson that we have to remember that they can exist at the same time 
but correlation does not always mean causation it may sometime mean causation but not always the takeaway here is that one must validate and gain deep understanding of the conditions and opportunities facing one's business from all directions before making decisions that could affect long term goals right so if as a data scientist you are evaluating the relationships between different variables that impact your business then you have to be very um, methodical and take statistical analysis and mathematical analysis into consideration before deciding only with the help of intuition or common sense that something is the cause for some other thing right it should be based on uh, statistical analysis and controlled experiments because these have a direct impact on your long term business goals so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you learned something about correlation and causation and how they are related and how they can impact your business in future videos we will look deeper into correlation and causation and we will try to understand them further thank you so much for watching today please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook so that you can stay updated with our latest videos have a nice day forward talk to you soon thank you very much